Remember when uh, after 9/11, the uh, the there was the the um, and I think the guy might even have been Indian, uh, but he had a, a convenience store. I remember this over in New Hartford, and there were there were some things that happened that were really not nice. So the guy, I felt so bad, the guy had American flags plastered all over the business. We don't have to deal with that. I, I put up an American flag because I'm proud to be an American and I, and I feel it's my patriotic duty. It's what I feel that I do. This guy's doing it so that he's not targeted. And we just so happen to have Scott McNamara, and I don't think you probably didn't expect I was going to drag you into this conversation. But you have to, I mean, it's, uh, all I'm saying is, it's sad that, that these people who are innocent Americans have to go through this. Yes, I agree. I was listening to you before. Yeah. It's, uh, and yesterday. I mean, what is going on in this world? It's terrible. It's almost like now when people get mad or they want to die or kill themselves, they feel they have to take a lot of people with take them. Take people with them. And they gain a news story out of it. And I don't know how we stop that vicious cycle. Because we're going to cover this stuff, and the media covers it, and it's, it's all part of what I think that they... Uh, they want, they want to accomplish. Yeah, it was kind of like when the reporter was shot and killed her and her cameraman. Um, it's like they want that media coverage and it's hard. How do you not report on it? Right, right.